number three. All right. Always on pattern questions, make a T chart. Used to have a little girl a couple years ago that I would go, what are you supposed to do? And she go, make a T chart, Miss Rouse. And I'd say, yes, baby. She had the cutest dimples. Okay. So we've got two patterns, W and X. So make a T chart, label one side W, label one side X. The W starts with 14 and add five every time. So start with 14 and add five. So 14 add five is 19. 19 add five is 24. 24 add five is 29. Add five again is 34. Now let's look at our X pattern. X, I'm gonna start with seven. So the seven corresponds with the 14 and I'm gonna add five every time. Seven add five is 12. 12 uh, 12 add 5 is 17. 17 add 5 is 22. 22 add 5 is 27. Now, this question asks us a different type of question than we've seen before. It says, which of the following sentences describes the relationship? The relationship is, I think about little teenagers in a relationship. They're in love, little teenagers in a relationship. And when they're in love, they are side by side holding hands. So you are looking for the side by side relationship. So from 14 to seven, what happens every time? From 19 to 12, what happens every time? From 24 to 17, what happens every time? Well, if you look at this carefully, from 14 to seven, you can either say that it divides by two or it subtracts seven. Well, let's see what happens from 19. Does 19 divide by two to get 12? No, it subtracts seven. So the rule must be seven minus seven. 19 minus seven is 12. 24 minus seven is 17. 29 minus seven is 22. 34 minus seven is 27. So the rule is a minus seven relationship when you're talking about the relationship between the corresponding terms. These two terms are corresponding. These two terms are corresponding. What is their relationship? Okay, so let's read. It says the terms in pattern X are always seven less than the terms in pattern W. Yes, that is absolutely the correct answer. You can read down through the rest of them, but that is the 